Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and welcome to the Acne channel where I cover a topic relating to acne and skincare every Tuesdays and Saturdays, so if you haven't, definitely subscribe to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about bad chemicals in your skincare ingredients. First is benzoyl peroxide. It is a topical solution for treating mild to moderate acne. And it does this because it prevents pores from becoming blocked and it targets the bacteria that cause acne. So first it can cause dehydration and premature aging of the skin because it's just drawing your skin out. It can also lead to hyperpigmentation and this is very, very common, um, especially in people of darker skin. Benzoyl peroxide can um, cancel out the effects of your SPF and make the skin more sensitive to the sun. Benzoyl peroxide can be easily seen in the skincare products we use and it's actually effective so it is an approved OTC method for treating acne. But we also have to consider the cons as well. So we're gonna be talking about some ingredients that might not even be in the ingredient section of your product, which are parabens, which are such a, you know, you hear about it everywhere. So it's in makeup, deodorants, moisturizers, shaving gels, shampoo, personal lubricant, and spray tan products. Can I talk any faster? Uh, they are also used as fragrance ingredients, but consumers won't find that listed on the label because fragrance recipes are considered trade secrets. So manufacturers are not required to disclose fragrance chemicals. In the list of ingredients, an estimated 75 to 90% of cosmetics contain parabens. Why do we even need parabens in our products? Well, it's used as a preservative. So parabens are largely, um, they largely replaced formaldehyde many decades ago as a preservative in our cosmetics. The reason parabens are used so widely is that they are cheap, and effective. Parabens easily penetrate the skin and they are suspected of interfering with the hormone function or endocrine disruption. So the next product I'm gonna talk about or ingredient is that foaminess in your skincare products. So it's basically DEA, Kokomid DEA, and Loramid DEA. It is used in creamy and phony products such as moisturizer, shampoo, etc. cetera. Um, and so what are the bad things it does to the skin? Well, it can react to form cancer causing nitrosamines. It is harmful to fish and other wildlife. DA compounds can also react with nitrates in cosmetics to form nitrosamines, which the International Agency for Research Cancer classifies as a possible human carcinogen. Ooh. Next is something that can not only be found in our skincare products, but also our hygiene products and cleansers. Basically, again, anything that foams. Sodium laurate sulfate and sodium laureth sulfate can be found in shampoo, body wash, foundation, face wash, mouthwash, and toothpaste. It also cleans car, uh, your car in car washes, garage floor cleaners, engine degreasers, and 90% of personal care products that foam. So SLS is a detergent and surfactant, which essentially means that it breaks surface tension and separates molecules in order to allow better interaction between the product and your hair. This in turn creates a lather which makes products such as shampoo and toothpaste more effective cleaners. It is also widely believed to be a major contributor to acne, especially cystic acne around the mouth and chin. You should know you're 